guys, I am so excited for you guys to see inside of this curriculum, but first I have to give you a little introduction. My friend Michelle from the Brave Homeschooling Mama is actually going to do this walkthrough for me. I had so many walkthroughs to do that I simply couldn't get through them all. So I asked her to give me a helping hand and she was so happy to do so. So she's going to show you inside the curriculum. She's going to show you the books, everything that I would normally go through. She's going to do for me. So I also want you guys after you see this video to go over to her YouTube channel, the Brave Homeschooling Mama and give her a subscribe as well. So I hope that you enjoy the walkthrough. And of course, if you want to see more, you can go down to the link below and look at the website as well. So without further ado, here is Michelle. Hello everyone, I'm Michelle, the Brave Homeschooling Mama. And today I am doing a walkthrough for Rabbit Trails Homeschool of Rabbit Trail Through Literature, Volume 4. So language arts through literature, it is a 16 lesson unit, which will take, and each, uh, each lesson takes about two weeks to complete. So it will take you, it will be 32 weeks. So they will take you a whole school year. So this is a, a year's uh, you know, curriculum. Through the language arts lessons, you are going to be studying here. You're going to be going over run on sentences, conjunctions, commas, semicolon, uh, tall tales, poetry, alliteration, tenses, hyperbole, apostrophe, synonyms, antonyms, and newspapers. Okay, and then there are some other things that you're going to be going through as you go through a rabbit trail. So you're going to go over the circus and Peru and the California missions and spiders, tall tales, trees, famous poets, mollusks, coral reefs, human anatomy, Pacific Northwest, Native Americans, photography, flowers, uh, sleep, newspapers, and U.S. mail. So all the things that you're going to be studying, not just the language arts, you're going to be going through a lot of other lessons like science and geography, history, you know, all these things, which is pretty cool. So like all rabbit trails units, there are core books that you, that, that go with each lesson that you read at the beginning of each lesson, you go through it with your child. And I will share that in a second, but I wanted to share the books first. So for the unit one, you are, we're gonna, you're gonna be going through the run on sentences, conjunctions, comma, semicolon, telltales, uh, and you're gonna go, and the rabbit trails are gonna be circus, Peru, California mission, spider, telltales, and trees. And I'm gonna share the book. So there's three units in this curriculum. So those are the, the this one's the first one. And the books I got, the, the unit one is the Wangari Mat Mat Matai, Paul Bunyan, Uh, the spider on the fly. Now open the box. Song of the Swallows. And Alma and how she got her name. Okay, so these are the books that go with this unit. The second unit, uh, you're going to do the one poetry, alliteration, tenses, hyperbole, and do some review. And the rabbit trails, so you're going to go over famous poets and mollusks and coral reefs. Human Anatomy, the Pacific Northwest, and Native Americans. And the books for the second unit are Robert Frost, Stopping by the Woods, and On a Snowy Evening. Then we have some Smug Slug. Uh, the Brilliant Deep, Rebuilding the World's Coral Reefs. Uh, the Raven, a trickster tale from the Pacific Northwest. And more parts. Okay, so we started books for the second unit. And then we have unit three, which you are going to be studying apostrophes and synonyms, antonyms, newspapers, and some review, and the rabbit trail of photography, flowers, sleep, newspapers, and US mail. And the books you're gonna be going through are The Uncorker of Ocean Bottles. Sorry, I'm gonna hit this little. The True Story of the Three Little Pigs. I love this book. Uh, Fight the Night. Uh, the Right Ward, The Right Ward. Then we had Dorothea's Eyes. Okay, so these are the core books that you're gonna be going through when you go through less, uh, through volume four. So I'm gonna show you one lesson. So you see all the lessons are structured the same. So I'm gonna go over the first lesson. So now open the box. Every time, so you're gonna have, you're gonna have a book to read. So the first book you're gonna read is Open the Box and you are going to have a lesson to read okay so you read the lesson and read your book to your children there's also here we're going to have some copy work the copy work could be something from the book and there's also some copy work 
from a Bible verse that ties to what you are studying. Then at the bottom, some uh, Bible study, okay? Then the next thing you're gonna have is a hands-on activity, okay? So there's always some kind of hands-on activity for you to do with your, chi with, with, with your child, okay? So in this one, you're gonna have some fun writing our own run-on sentence. You roll a receipt paper, so you're gonna work on run-on sentences, okay? Then we're going to have a rabbit trail book. So this is going to be a, li a list to learn more about the circus. And these are books that are going to help you learn more about the circus. There she recommends a video that you can watch. And then you're going to have more books that you can read, the more, you know, library books. So one of the themes is the circus. So we're going to continue learning. If you want to go through those rabbit trails and learn more about the circus, so you're going to have more books that you can choose from. And you are going at the end of, after you have those books, you're going to have more hands-on ideas that you can do with your children. And she gives you, there are six here, so you can pick and choose what uh, of the activities you wanna do for extra hands-on activities. So first you're gonna have a, a here, there's a STEM challenge where you're gonna make your own big cup out of household items such as straw, marshmallows, fabric. How can you construct this so that it's, you know, it stays up? Read the pro, you know, read a poem by Shel Silverstein. You can write your own story about the circus. You can plan out a circus performance. Find a circle, a circus that's close by and go and attend it. And, or you can curate your own you know, circus in a poster. So those are ideas of extra things that you can do to go more deep into those rabbit trails. Okay. So now I'm going to go over. So all the lessons, again, they are structured the same way. I just wanted to share the first one. Then you're going to go... Then you're going to have your companion journal. This, are, this is the journal where you, the activities that are in the lessons you can complete in here. So here for you have, it says here, the lesson. So you can take this, there's an open space here for your child to draw something that they learned from the lesson, from the book that you were reading. They can either draw a picture, write something that they learned, or, do, or they can do both. All, you know, depending on your child's age. There's also a copy, here's a... Uh, you know, the copy work is right here and your child can copy it. And they also have for a, a, a spot for your Bible copy work. Okay. Right there. Everything is right here. So you don't, you know, you have a notebook for everything. Then there's a section here and it has a little um, a camera here. And so you can use this part to take notes on the videos that you watch or draw a picture or something that was interesting from, from, you know, the video. So that's right there. Then the next part. Uh, there's some little books here with some boxes. So you can use this to take notes on the books, on those extra rabbit trails books that you're reading. You can draw pictures, whatever you want. So you have space. You can write the names of the books here and then use the boxes however you want to. You can draw or you can write some sentences or write some words, whatever it, where, wherever your child is. Okay. Then we have uh, for the more ideas. You, you can write your own short story about the circus. So you have the space here to write your own short story or you can use it to, you know, to draft it here and then write it, you know, type it or whatever, but you have the space here to do that. And uh, here, create your own circus poster advertising, a circus coming to town and you can use the space to draw your poster. Okay, so everything is right here. You don't have to be finding, you know, different things to, you know, to work on your, on your assignments. Okay, so that's the, the first lesson and the first uh, companion journal lesson. And then I wanted to go over with you for the curriculum resource page. So this is new from Rabbit Trails. And so it's a page where you have some links, a resource page with links. So you can go to the Amazon book list, anything, you know, she, she also put some there, some links to some uh, kits and things that, you, that, you know, you can get to kind of help with the, with the curriculum. And so everything is right here. And it also has a, a QR code for your uh, YouTube playlist. Okay, so everything is right here. So you click and you can watch your videos. Okay, so this is it. This is a walkthrough, uh, Robbie Trails Through Literature.